You know, a great story is um, we were playing, you know, doing our college circuit, and one night I'm at home and I'm thinking to myself, man, I want to take jazz to another level. I want to take it to more people, you know, and, and get jazz more into the public mindset. Mm -hmm. Because I just think it's a beautiful music. It's just positive. You know, you know how it is. People mm -hmm. connect, and, and it's a beautiful thing. So, uh, so I, a commercial came on for the White House, and I thought, oh man, let me let me call the White House. What the heck? I've got nothing to lose. Let me go right to the top. The worst they could say is no. So I called the White House and said, do you have any programs where you send musicians around to perform and any kind of positive outreach, like? Initially, I wanted. I was thinking like maybe performing for troops overseas, or maybe performing for the homeless. Some kind of positive outreach that we could do using jazz as the medium for that. And uh, so, with that, I called the White House, got the name of the person I needed to talk to, uh, and basically talked to the secretary. I didn't really talk to that particular person, but I talked to the secretary, who said, "You know, send your information here to the social secretary's uh, office, and we'll take a look at it." Not thinking anything, you know, so I put a, a CD in I had at the time, some loose press clippings I had that were in a newspaper article, and mailed it off. So about a week later, I, uh, I get a call on my answering machine. It says, uh, this is the Social Secretary's Office at the White House. We'd like to invite the Eric Mintel Quartet to the White House for Christmas. So wow. you go from, you know, that to the, and uh, so from lows to highs, right? So at first I thought it was a joke. I'm like, really? <laughs> so, uh, and that was 1998, and we played for a holiday dinner reception for President Clinton and the political powers there at the time. And uh, it was so cool because I have a picture of Dave Brubeck playing that exact same piano at the Lyndon Johnson administration concert. Oh, wow. And I was like, man, this is like full circle here. This is so cool. And then, uh, and then, okay, then fast forward to 2011, uh, you know, my girlfriend said, why don't you try, you know, call the White House, try to get in there again. I'm like, that's going to be like a once in a lifetime deal. There's no way. And I still had my, the White House phone number in my phone. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I called and believe it or not, they said, uh, what's your availability for December? So and we played again, like December 14th of 2011 for President Obama. Oh, wow. And uh, so, and from that point on, I mean, even prior to that, We've played at the Kennedy Center over 10 times, uh, met Billy Taylor, the great jazz pianist there. I came down, they put us up at the Watergate Hotel and I'm coming down the elevator. The elevator doors open up and there's Billy Taylor. Mm. And he had heard our set prior to that because we had it done, it was jazz uh, at the Kennedy Center, it was the uh, jazz in the Terrace Theater. And that's where he used to uh, broadcast live on NPR in that theater on his program. Mm -hmm. So they were doing a big jazz festival weekend, so we were part of that. And he said, man, you guys sounded good. And it was real, I felt like, oh man, I got a blessing here, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and, and then, let's see, then we, uh, we did a special concert for the United Nations, uh, which was phenomenal. So I'm all about, you know, just trying to bring jazz to the masses, you know? And, just because I, you never see it. You don't see it on, and when you do see it on TV, it's like, it's not presented as well as it should. You've got, of course, all the great jazz guys there, which that's become, people know who that is, but there are so many other people doing some great things with the music and, and taking it and experimenting with it. And that's what, jazz, that's what I love about jazz, because it's always changing, it's always growing.